Welcome back. A mortal combat is shaping up between labor unions and business. It's over the Employee Free Choice Act, known as the Card Check Bill. There are two ways to organize a union in this country. The first is by secret ballot in a National Labor Relations Board election. The second is by card check. Simple concept. Every employee gets a card asking if they want to form a union in the workplace. If a majority of employees check yes, on their cards, a union is created. Now, currently, employers have the power to decide how their employees choose representation. The Employee Free Choice Act would give that power to the employees. Now, business likes the secret ballot system. They claim that secret ballots are the only democratic way of voting. Sounds pretty reasonable, but after all, that's how we vote in political elections. But unlike our political system, workers aren't guaranteed the first Tuesday of every November to vote. And while the voting itself is private and secret, organizing the election is not. And that gives employers time to run an all-out campaign against unionization, inundating workers with anti-union propaganda, stymieing the process with procedural hurdles, or intimidating employees into voting against their own interest. So the sum total of this, folks, is that business hates this bill. President Obama supports it. But will the Democrats in Congress actually have a spine and stand up with labor against business? Joining me now is Leo Gerard, the president of the United Steelworkers International. Mr. Gerard, happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> 29 years old. Yeah. I can't believe <laughs> no, it. It's more I got, like 2,900 years of experience yeah, in the labor movement, I got my suits, friend. I got suits that old. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's start it right out. You got some adversaries in this. This is an ad right here. Let's play it. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce has taken out an ad today that is saying this is a bad deal. Meet Bill, a real union boss. Here's Bill assaulting a cameraman. Dude, I told you the unions are pressuring Congress to pass the card check bill. Dude, so union bosses, like Bill, can know how you vote in union elections. I'm a police officer. Go Denying ahead. you the right to a private vote. I'm going to take this camera and stick it somewhere where you don't want it. Tell Congress you don't want to meet Bill. Protect your private vote. Mr. Gerard, why not a secret ballot? Well, first of all, there's nothing secret about that secret ballot. The fact of the matter is that uh, America is one of only a few countries in the world. There's 70 countries that have the opportunity for workers to choose a union uh, through a card check. America is the only country of the major industrialized countries that's not true. And the reason I say that it's not necessarily a secret ballot is that we've had uh, 29,000 people fired in the last two years just for saying they want to organize a union. Nothing secret about that when you fire the lead organizer so that everybody else in the plant gets afraid to speak out. How adamant are you that the Congress pass this? I think uh, for us it's a matter of do or die. I think if this Democratic uh, majority can't pass this, then we have to wonder how much we should work for the Democratic majority in the future. Well, that is an issue that is going to be coming up if they don't support you. Now, the manufacturing job losses in this country in the last eight or nine years are really staggering. What is the number? Do we have the number? Is it really six million jobs that have been lost? There, there, there are six million manufacturing jobs and maybe more. We were up to five and a half million jobs last September, and we can't keep track of how many manufacturing jobs have been lost since September, because almost four and a half million other jobs have been lost. So if you heap that in, we might be above six million manufacturing jobs. And the reality is that that's come about as a result of these same guys that are running these ads. These are the guys that told us, let us deregulate the financial markets. These are the guys that told us, we're gonna have free trade and America will be better off. We're accumulating a $6 trillion trade debt. We gotta pay, the, we to service that debt every year. So these same guys are running these campaigns of fear. All you got to do is watch that commercial. That commercial is meant to drive fear. It's dishonest. It's, it's not accurate. And that's the way they run the campaign in the plant. Do you think that this will uh, enhance union membership in this country? I mean, if you look at some of the numbers that are out there, you see that the majority of workers in this country certainly want to join. 
Would this knock that barrier down? I, I think it'll help that barrier. But what's more important to me, and I think what's more important to the average working person in this country, is it's going to give them a chance to get part of the American dream. It's going to give them a chance to have a negotiation about how they share in the productivity and the wealth they create in their workplace and the service they provide. This is about trying to rebuild the middle class. There's no way we're going to rebuild the middle class if we leave it to benevolent bosses to decide how much they're going to give workers. In the steel industry, yes, sir. how many mills have been shut down? How many are running well, right now? I'll look, at, I couldn't begin to tell you today how many are shut down. I can tell you this, that right now the steel industry in America is running below capacity. It's running now at capacity utilization that is about the same as was in the Great Depression. And that's because the whole of the manufacturing industry, from the automobile industry to the rail industry, is in a steep, steep decline because of the same guys that are running those ads. How big of a setback will it be for union efforts in this country if this law doesn't pass? I think it'll be a, a huge hurdle for us to continue to build the middle class. It'll be a huge hurdle for us to have a strong uh, labor movement in this country and I, I remind those people that are running those ads you show me a strong industrial democracy that doesn't have a strong growing free labor movement you can't find one CEO pay has skyrocketed in this country uh, as opposed to workers do you think that the public will be with you when they see the kind of numbers that are out there right now I think that the public is is very aware that one of the things that's leading to this huge, huge disparity between the rich and the rest of us is that there's no vehicle for workers to negotiate a fair share of the wealth they help produce, the service they help provide. And I think this is the right path, along with President Obama's economic renewal program, to lay the foundation for a stronger middle class as we go forward. Is the president with you on this? He's with us, and so is the vice president, and we hope all the Democrats and a lot of Republicans will be with us, because this is the way we rebuild the middle so class. So if this doesn't pass, some might view him as not a strong president. I think this is something he said was a priority for him. I've always accepted him at his word. I'm going to stand by him, and I want him to stand by us. Mr. Gerard, always a pleasure. Thanks My pleasure. for joining Thank us. Thank you.